Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this episode I'm going to be drawing in the big blue sketchbook. This is going to be a bit of a series that I'm going to start on here because I've got a few drawings already in here but I'd really like to complete the whole book on camera to share with you. So for this drawing I'm going to be doing some stippling. That's when you use dots instead of lines. So okay let's get started. This is the big blue sketchbook and I really did enjoy doing this type of a pattern drawing but for the next page I thought I would try for the first time a bit of stippling. Stippling is the practice where you just do dots to make the image and I think I've seen this from Peter Draws and I'm sure that there's lots of artists who do great work with it. I've seen very figurative work, but he does abstract work. And when I started this drawing, I had no idea what shape I would make. I didn't have any plan. And even when I was doing it, I didn't see any, any pattern that was happening. I just started to stipple and think, let's see where it goes. Which means that it's quite curious why it did turn out to be such a specific consistent shape that suggests something quite figurative. And I think I pushed it in that direction at some point but initially this was all just random. There was nothing that I was trying to do specifically and then it turned out to be something where it was looking like pebbles on a beach. So I started to do pebbles. Not literal pebbles, but I started to make sure that the ovals would have stippling to show the shape of the form so that the main body of the oval shape would be light. And then around the edges you'd see bits of shadow and at the very edges it'd go much darker. Now I remember this being really difficult to do because in order to do dots all over the page you have to make sure that you make the dot and then lift the pen every time because if you don't it makes a little dash and that's not stippling that's almost hatching so I had to be really disciplined to do simply just dots and it was just a fine liner so there was a real possibility that it would drag a little bit and become a dash instead of a dot and that happened the odd time but for most of this drawing I made sure that I would keep it as dots and I think that's what's a powerful image is keeping a consistency and it was painful, I remember saying it's a painful drawing to do because it takes so much concentration and effort and I think I'd be gripping the pen too tightly because of how much I was concentrating on trying to be careful that it became literally painful as well as just mentally painful but I'm glad that I did it it's one of the only drawings that I've done using stippling and it's the first and only drawing I've done which is only stippling. So I've used it in combination with hatching and normal line drawing but this was the first time that I did stippling at all. Before I'd done it I think I had the idea that I wouldn't like it. I think I'd assume that it makes a certain type of art and I forgot that whatever technique you try you can then bend towards your preference as opposed to being forced into someone else's style so after doing this I thought this is an interesting image but I know that I could do lots of different things with stippling 
And as I said, this one's quite figurative, but I think I would like to try abstract. Maybe on a smaller surface. I think this with this being a double page spread, it made it a lot more tricky to continuously um, push to cover the whole two pages without any breaks. And it was just careful little dots here and there in between the other dots in order to make sure the the gradient of the hat of the not the hatching sorry the midtone became effective and looked like something which was literally on a curve so you can see here from the close up shot that it's it's got you know I don't know how many little dots in order to make this effect happen but I think I used a thicker nib for certain parts of the shadow but I'm not positive it looks as though I have and I'm using a very small nib here in order to create this mid-tone gradation and I think there's a lot of room for difference there can you see on the right hand side how there's gaps between the dots? Similar to hatching I think that has this effect of mid-tone and lighter mid-tone. Here's a quick flick through the blue sketchbook. First page, a double page spread of a kind of dreamscape. And then that goes quite nicely into this almost Japanese looking print. Which is, uh, then goes into this stippling double page. And that's how it turned out. I quite liked it, and if you liked it I think you should try it too. Okay, so that's the drawing done, and I think, let's get to the page here, I think it's worked out quite interesting. Now there are parts of this that I had no idea what I was doing, and at a certain point it just all kicked in and became something which I think is quite nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, share it with any friends and family because I really want to try and grow the channel. So if you can, share it with people who you think might enjoy it. And after that, all I've got to say is I will see you in the next episode.